steps. So welcome to this video, which is three mindset tools to help you in your journey. Now, I don't know what you think about when you hear the word mindset, but sometimes it can get lumped together with things like mindfulness and, and can seem a bit kind of new and trendy and uh, the wagon that everyone's kind of jumping on at the moment. But actually mindset is so in the Bible. It totally goes back to the Bible where God tells us that we can look after our thoughts and we have power and authority over them. And the way a man's thinks the way his heart is also and the way we direct and control our thoughts is so so important so I just want to give you three mindset tools that can really help you on your journey and the first one is that verse in Philippians 4 verse 8 where it tells us to think about the things that are true noble right pure lovely admirable, excellent and praiseworthy. Think about such things. So even if, hello, even if your situation is dire, if you can't see the wood for the trees, you feel really overwhelmed, which I know a lot of you are feeling at the moment, then it can be really helpful to even in those situations, think about those things. Think about what is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, praiseworthy. Think about such things. So in your situation that might be going completely wrong or might be completely overwhelming you, can you see chinks of light? Can you see some of those characteristics and qualities? And can you hold on to them and latch on to them in your mind and start thinking on them and dwelling on them? Because that will really, really help to change your perspective. So times are tough at the moment and I know lots of people are struggling and definitely earlier in the week, I used some of these tools to help me get out of a bit of overwhelm. So I hope they're helpful to you too. The second one is, starting the day in the direction that you want to travel. So in what what way do you want your day to go? How do you want your day to pan out? Do you actually want to start in a very positive way um, with your mindset on the right thing so you can carry on? So whatever that means, whether it's um, Bible reading or whether it's just saying a prayer, saying the same Bible verse day after day after day, it doesn't matter as long as your mind is set on the right things from the beginning of the day. That will really help you as you progress through the rest of your day. So what does that look like for you? What could that look like for you if it doesn't already? If you're up and you're straight out and at it, then just give yourself a second, two seconds to just think something. Um, dwell on a Bible verse or say a quick prayer and set your mind the way you want your body, spirit and soul to go that day. And point number three is to have a growth mindset. So we all have challenges, we all have failures, we all have areas of our life that haven't gone as we would like them to go. But we can really, really learn from these and we can turn them around and learn and move forward. And also we can sometimes label ourselves and say, oh, I never drink enough water. And actually that's quite a fixed mindset, making a blanket statement saying you never drink enough water. And guess what's going to happen? You're probably never going to drink enough water. Yet if you say, I haven't drunk enough water in the past, but now I drink more water, then what do you think will happen? So watch what you're saying over yourself. Don't have a fixed mindset about all that's wrong and all that's limiting, but instead have a growth mindset where you recognize that you can learn from your failures and move forward in your journey, but also that you can make a statement that will come true. So if you make a statement, I never drink enough water, that will probably come true. But if you make a statement, I haven't drunk enough water in the past, but now I do, then that also may come true. So those are just three tools that I use to help with my mindset and avoid overwhelm and set myself on a, a better track. And like I said, it all stems from the Bible. There's so much in the Bible about mindset. It's really quite exciting. So I encourage you to look deeper and look into that. I hope that your year has started 
with a positive mindset. If it hasn't, maybe you can use these things to move forward. Um, it's lovely to be speaking to you. This Sunday evening, we have our evening with Fitfish and Ruth Rice. Would love to see you there. We'll type the link below. Um, it's going to be a fabulous evening. So after a busy week, after a busy weekend even, I know people's weekends also are just a bit crazy and a bit busy at the moment, then grab a drink, grab a space on the sofa and treat yourself to some time where you can receive and enable you to move forward this January. Okay, take care, lovely to see you. Do give me a like, do give me a comment about something that stood out for you there and I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye.